Well, it turns out Ron DeSantis' Don't Say Gay Law may not actually go according to plan after all. And this is because a couple of teachers brilliantly found a way to sabotage the law in a way that is truly magical and uh, hilarious. How are they sabotaging this law, you ask? Well, by simply following it. They're following it very, very, very carefully. So we learned about a memo being circulated by at least some teachers in Palm Beach County, Florida. And we found out, out about this through Moms for Liberty. So here's what they say about this memo, which I'll read to you in a second via Twitter. They write, Attention parents, a teacher in Palm Beach County, Florida, shared this template with us. It is being shared among teachers to use for grades K through 3. How do you feel about this? What will you do when this arrives home in your child's backpack? Time to take a stand. Now, here's what the memo that they're sharing reads. Dear Florida parent slash caretaker, the Florida House of Representatives has recently ruled that classroom instruction by school personnel or third parties on sexual orientation or gender identity may not occur in kindergarten through grade three or in a manner that is not age appropriate or developmentally appropriate for students. To be in accordance with this policy, I will no longer be referring to your student with gendered pronouns. All students will be referred to as they or them. I will no longer use a gender title such as Mr. or Mrs. or make any reference to my husband slash wife in the classroom. From now on, I will be using the non-gendered title mix. Furthermore, I will be removing all books or instruction which refer to a person being a mother, father, husband, or wife, as these are gender identities that may allude to sexual orientation. Needless to say, all books which refer to a character as he or she will also be removed from the classroom. If you have any concerns about this policy, please feel free to contact your local congressperson. Thank you. Mix blank. Now, this is absolutely brilliant. Well done, and I hope that every single teacher in Florida circulates this memo. Look, it's funny because you know that the intention was not for this to happen. When we told you you couldn't talk about sexual orientation or gender identity, of course, we weren't talking about cishets, just queer people. Except these teachers are just following the law to a T. And so by your own standards, this is the only way you can be compliant with the law. So you've got to ask yourself, why were they so purposefully vague when they created this law? Why didn't they just explicitly say you can't talk about transgender people or gay people? Well, because that's obviously unconstitutional and they know that a court would strike it down like that. So in order to keep this uh, maintained so it holds up to scrutiny... They tried to be purposefully vague. They tried to make it so that way the intended outcome was to pretend as if gay and trans people don't exist. But if teachers actually follow through with this, well, they're just going to pretend like no gender identity or sexual orientations exist, including the non-queer ones. Oops. <laughs> I mean, uh, this is just... This is too great. This is too great. Now, I've got to share the responses to the Moms for Liberty Twitter uh, account because they posted about this. They were hysterical about this. And then the responses were just brilliant. I never thought leopards would eat my face, sobs woman who voted for the leopards eating people's faces party. Keffels just says, based. It's your bed. Lie in it. Looks like some people are annoyed to find out that sexual orientations and genders are not just something the queers have right? I'm so sorry. I thought gender was a thing not to be discussed. Me sewing. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Yes. Me reaping. Well, this fucking sucks. What the fuck? I love this one. Sounds good. Congratulations on your victory over gender and sexuality in the classroom. You've successfully made it illegal to even describe a traditional nuclear family. Good job. And this one is probably my favorite here. Oops, I treaded on myself. <laughs> How was I supposed to know there'd be consequences for my actions? And last, but certainly not least, bathrooms will have to be labeled without gender now because gender identity is a prohibited topic. So no child is permitted to identify as a boy and use the boy's bathroom or identify as a girl and use the girl's bathroom. This is what you wanted. Exactly. They didn't realize that gender signifiers were everywhere, that sexual orientation is everywhere. It's just part of life, right? When you reference a child's mommy and daddy, you're referring to an orientation. It may be a heterosexual orientation, but it's still an orientation. So just like everyone else, straight people and cis people have gender identities and sexual orientations as well. So if you rule it all out and say it's illegal to talk about this in the classroom, then if we're being consistent, well, you follow these guidelines laid out by the teachers. But these homophobes and transphobes like the Moms for Liberty, didn't realize that it could be used against them 
as well. So here we are. I hope this becomes a widespread occurrence because as we talk about this uh, don't say gay law and as it gains popularity as individuals like Marjorie Taylor Greene say, oh, well, I'm going to introduce a version that applies at the federal level. Okay, well, go ahead and do that. We'll just do this. So if you really want to make sure that you erase gender and sexual orientation, well, you may get a little bit more than you bargained for. I absolutely love this. Love to see it. And uh, I hope that teachers in Florida absolutely follow this law to the T. Tremendous, 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 tremendous